gets a little bit more confusing. So here, now we have two radical restrictions. And then also we have one where um, we have two radical restrictions, and then one where it's also in the denominator. So first thing I'm going to do, x plus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0. 4 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And the square root of 4 minus x cannot equal 0. Does everybody see what I did? I took anything that was under a radical, made it greater than or equal to 0. And then I took whatever was the denominator, and I set that cannot equal 0. Anybody have any questions on my setup? Just the setup. Any questions? Yes? So would it not be OK. So for this one, um, so you go ahead and you know, let's just go and solve each one. Um, and then over here, you're going to square. So 4 minus x cannot equal 0. Um, minus 4 minus 4. Negative x equal, cannot equal negative 4. OK, so I'm just doing my algebra work right there. So let's look at this. Here it's saying x has to be greater than 0. Here it's saying x has to be less than or equal to 4. Correct? You guys remember kind of graphing these? Like, let's see what this looks like. So let's go, let's say here's 0, here's 1, here's 2, here's 3, here's 4. x has to be greater than 0. Is that included? Yeah, so we put a nice little dot. And we say that's going to be going this way. x is less than or equal to 4. That's included right there. But then this says it's not included. So that's going right here. And then remember, guys, when, yes? Um, this plus to greater and equal. Yeah, that says uh, negative 2. Oh, thank you. I don't, where's 0? I don't know. Good job. Thank you. Negative 1, negative 2. OK, now if you guys remember, compound inequalities, it's where they intersect, right? So the inequality is from just between those two. It's just where they intersect. So how, the domain then is only between negative 2 and 4. Negative 2 is included. 4 is not included. So you'd write the domain like this, negative 2 comma 0. It looks like that. Okay. 